Parks is there with the header out to Pembridge. Pembridge can bring it to the floor and run it forward and he needs some men to do some running to help him out. Pushes it up there, the flag stays down, Johnson goes after it into the area, tries to shot it, tries to cross and Gabby Adini's put it in! Gabby Adini has given Derby the lead! 17 minutes and Millwall dealt a solar plexus blow! Gabby Adini turned it in but the compliments of a Tommy Johnson running off Pembridge's pass and Millwall caught slow and caught flat and Johnson's speed gave them lots of trouble and as Johnson bore in on goal he saw Gabby Adini wide to his right and instead of shooting he dragged it back across the goal. Gallagher of course stood no chance and Gabby Adini hurled himself at the ball. Well, good header by Gabby Adini. Ball drops down for Johnson. Johnson sprinting away. There may not be anyone to catch him here into the box and into the net! 2-0 to Derby County. The match is as good as over. Millwall players are thrashing the ground. Oh, look, I don't think he can express his disgust. Millwall's defence has got no pace to it at all. And once Johnson was through the offside line, Millwall could not catch him. It was as simple as that. He started with a two-yard lead and ended with a five-yard lead as he buried his low shot past the hapless Keller. And Derby County now lead this fixture by four goals to nil on aggregate. And the trouble is escalating on the far side of the field and the Metropolitan Police are struggling to contain it. At the moment it's down by the corner flag and there are hundreds of people involved and I'm afraid there's fans coming in from this side of the field and they're running across in front of the Martin Taylor's goal and the goalkeeper got the clearance in and the referee's getting the players off the pitch. Dear, oh dear, the game has been stopped at 32 minutes as these brainless maniacs run all over the field and there was actually a shot in on the goal there and Martin Taylor had a man running around behind him as he went down to grab the ball and Mr Hill has decided that the contest is to be called off for the time being and there are horses now being called in on the far side of the ground and there's a great deal of fighting going on over there uh, there's another man being carried off or dragged off by two policemen on the far side of the ground and uh, at the moment I'm glad to say that Derby County fans are up in the top deck, not involved in any way with what's going on at the moment. It goes on to Gabby Adini, to Johnson, Johnson plays it back, looking for Gabby Adini, and it's an own goal! Oh my word! An own goal by Pat Van Den Howe, straight past his goalie and into the bottom of the net, and I'm afraid it's good night Millwall, that must surely be it. It is now Millwall nil, Derby County 3, Pat Van Den Howe turned a routine pass that actually Gabby Adini wasn't chasing, straight past uh, Casey Kelleher, and that is the third Derby County goal coming in the 61st minute of the first half after this massive delay. On the clock, I think we've got 18 minutes to play, crowd invasions permitting, and the ball near the centre spot with Ray. Ray backs it uh, up. Oh dear, we have got a crowd invasion from this near side of the field as Michael Forsyth goes in and Millwall are on the attack actually and Ray goes down in the box and it's a penalty the referee hasn't seen the crowd invasion there are hundreds on the field and the referee has given Millwall a penalty but he's going to bring the players off well this is going to be contro controversial Alex Ray was coming down the inside left channel there oh Martin Taylor has been given a vicious assault by the Millwall fans two Millwall fans set about Martin Taylor as he was leaving the field and they knocked the goalie to the floor but he's got up and he's run straight off the field but uh, this is a scandalous, scandalous situation when the players are in physical danger from these moronic louts.